Sure, I'll be curious how quickly we hear from the FB, uh, FBI, the NTSB, the FAA. Here's the latest in terms of what happened on Friday night and the investigation into how this airline employee who was working for Horizon Air, which is owned by Alaska Airlines, was able to steal a turboprop, which seats about 76, 78 passengers. The video, and there's no shortage of it. You saw it all the weekend, and we've been showing it all morning as well. This is some of the uh, flying that was done by this a uh, ramp service agent who was able to steal this airplane, even though he doesn't have a pilot's license. Look how close he comes to going into the water right there. By the way, FBI and the NTSB, they're still looking for the data voice recorder, the cockpit recorder, all of that information. That will give them a lot of clues in terms of, did he have any help in terms of stealing this plane before it crashed after he was flying it for an hour? Here's some sound between air traffic control and the pilot shortly before the crash. He's just flying around and uh, he just needs some help controlling his aircraft. Nah, I, mean, I don't need that much help. I played some video games before. He played some video games before. By the way, you can see on YouTube a number of discussions and video about how to start up one of these planes and what it takes. So if you can memorize it and understand it, you can do that. As investigators search for the data and voice recorders, here are the questions that are going to be asked. And there may be a meeting, by the way, later today with the Port Authority in Seattle, along with uh, airport uh, officials and airline representatives about security protocol. Did the pilot have any help? Will airports tighten security? You can bet that that's going to be a topic discussed not only in Seattle, but around the country in the days to come. And will airplane access protocol change? Guys, I've had a number of people who have asked me, well, how was he able to get inside the plane? Remember, this plane was not at a gate. It was in a, a service hangar area, if you will. So it's a little, it was a little bit out of the way. He was able to maneuver the, the tug so he could turn the plane around, climbed inside, and clearly knew how to start up the plane, which is, by the way, not just hitting one switch. There are a number of steps that you need to go through. Andrew, I'm, I, you've seen these flight simulators that you can yep. basically play at home. Um, if you memorize the sequence and you know what you're doing and you're intent on doing it, you can start up one of these planes this is if be you a can get into that position. Silly question. Do you need a key? No, you do not. There's it's no a sequence key. of events. It's a sequence of events. And by the way, and if you, don't, if you do those out of sequence, then, then you're not going to have the engine synced up. Uh, it's just not going to work. But there's no, there's no code or, I mean, I understand the sequence that you need to, to, to put in to start, the, to start the plane and get it working. Right. But there's, there's no security measure like even, um, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking obviously I have to put a code into my, my iPhone just to get it, to right. get it open. Well, that's, uh, to my knowledge, no. But you can bet that that's one of the things that's going to be discussed is should the protocol change from here on out so right. that hey, there Phil. is a specific code that only pilots get when they go into a particular airplane? Yeah, with a little bit of knowledge, and, and, I, and I, I, obviously I couldn't, but he worked there and everything, I, I almost feel like I might be able to take off in a plane if I didn't care if I was going to be able to land it. You know what I mean? It, isn't it harder to land a plane than, than, than to get one up in the air? And this guy obviously wasn't going to have to land it anywhere. So. Joe, have you ever done a flight simulator? Because I've done a couple of them. And, and is it, is you, it, you, are, you, think, you think it's easy? It's, I think it'd be it's easier not. It's with a little knowledge. With a little no, no, you know what I'm saying. I think it'd be yeah. easier to take. Yeah, I think it'd be think easier it, to push the throttle forward, get it going up to, to uh, velocity where the wings basically take you up from when you get to over 100 miles an right. hour, don't they? But I don't think I could right. land one. But I think I, you I, know, <laughs> given a little I, knowledge. I don't think I, I think, I, look, huh? Joe, I don't think I, I could land one either. Um, and, you know, that's the challenge that uh, was facing the air traffic controllers in this situation. They wanted to steer him away from populated yeah. areas. You can hear him a couple of times during their exchanges with him, like, hey, why don't you go back out over the water? And then you had the two F-15s that are trying to steer him in that direction mm -hmm. as well. It, let's say he did say, well, I want to try to land this. I'm sure they could talk him through it. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if I could, if I was in that position that no. I'd be able to, oh, yeah, I can land this. No, 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 no. That's, that's the, you know, that's. That's the whole two pilot uh, idea, you know, whenever right. you're up in a plane. Uh, nice to have that backup uh, in case, you know, well, you, that's why we required. do it, right? Yeah, instead of the it's single. Required. Yeah. yeah. Okay.